Ever wondered why your heart races when you see your crush, or why you can't get that special someone out of your mind? Welcome to the intriguing world of love, sex, and relationships. We're about to embark on a journey, one that delves deep into the human psyche, exploring the intricate and fascinating aspects of these universal experiences. It's said that love is a many-splendored thing and indeed, it's as diverse and unique as the billions of hearts that feel it. Yet there are some truths, some fundamental facts that we all share, that bind us together in this grand tapestry of human emotion. So, whether you're a hopeless romantic, a curious observer, or a seasoned lover, there's something here for you. Stay tuned as we explore 10 mind-blowing facts about love, sex, and relationships, and remember, laughter is the best aphrodisiac. Fact number one. Did you know that falling in love has the same neurological effects as cocaine? Yes, love is a natural high. It's not just a metaphor when people say they're addicted to love. A research conducted by the Albert Einstein College of Medicine in New York discovered that the brain releases the same cocktail of neurotransmitters and hormones when a person is falling in love as it does when someone uses cocaine. These chemicals, including dopamine and oxytocin, create feelings of euphoria, excitement, and a bond with the other person. This brain chemistry also explains why the early stages of a relationship can feel so intense and why the end of a relationship can feel like withdrawal. Love is indeed a potent, mind-altering substance. So next time someone asks you if you're high, just tell them you're in love, cheaper, and less illegal. Fact number two, men are more likely to say I love you first in a relationship. Yes, you heard it right. This fascinating detail is backed by research. A study conducted by the American Sociological Association discovered this surprising fact. It's speculated that this happens because men, contrary to popular belief, tend to fall in love faster than women. They also might feel more societal pressure to express their feelings, being often seen as the pursuers in a romantic relationship. It's also thought that men might use the phrase as a means to transition to the physical aspect of a relationship quicker. But hey, let's not forget the exceptions. We all know that one guy who's a little less vocal about his feelings. So ladies, if he hasn't said it yet, don't worry. He's probably just trying to beat his own high score in Call of Duty. Fact number three. Did you know that long-term couples' heartbeats sync up when they're close to each other? That's right, folks. A study from the University of California, Davis, found that partners who have been together for a significant amount of time start to match each other's heart rhythms when they're in close proximity. Theories behind this fascinating phenomenon suggest that it's linked to empathy. When you're emotionally tuned into your partner, your body responds by syncing up with them on a physical level. It's like your hearts are literally beating as one. How's that for a real-life love song? But do you know what's even better? Researchers found that this isn't just a cute party trick, it actually contributes to the overall health and well-being of both partners. So, love isn't just good for the soul, it's good for the heart too. So if you're wondering if you're in sync with your partner, just listen to their heart. If you can't hear it, you're probably not close enough or you need a hearing aid. Fact number four, women are more attracted to men who make them laugh. Now this might sound like just another stereotype, but there's some solid research behind it. According to psychologists, laughter triggers the release of feel-good hormones, creating a sense of connection and positivity. It's thought that women, in particular, are drawn to men who can make them laugh because humor indicates intelligence and creativity, traits historically linked to better survival and the ability to provide. To put it simply, a good joke can be a powerful aphrodisiac. It's not about being the class clown but showing a sense of humor that resonates with your partner, creating a shared experience that deepens the bond. And here's a fun little joke for you to practice with. Why don't scientists trust atoms? Because they make up everything. So fellas, if you're not a Brad Pitt look-alike, don't worry, just work on those dad jokes. Fact number five, couples who are too similar to each other are not likely to last. Now you might be thinking, but don't they say opposites attract? Well, it's not about being polar opposites, but rather about balancing each other out. A study conducted by Columbia University found that couples with too many shared traits and interests often find their relationships becoming stagnant over time. Why is that, you ask? Well, differences in a couple can lead to personal growth, introduce new perspectives, and keep the relationship exciting. Imagine going out on a date with, well, yourself. Sounds pretty dull, doesn't it? So, embrace your partner's unique quirks and interests. Learn from them, grow with them, and most importantly, laugh with them. After all, variety is the spice of life, and who doesn't like a little spice? 
So if your partner doesn't share your love for pineapple on pizza, don't fret. It just means more for you. Fact number six. Four minutes of uninterrupted eye contact can increase intimacy. Fascinating, isn't it? This finding came from a study conducted by psychologist Arthur Aaron. Participants were asked to stare into each other's eyes for four solid minutes without breaking eye contact. The result? They reported feeling a strong romantic connection. The theory behind this is that prolonged eye contact can trigger feelings of love and affection. It's like the eyes are a window into the soul, allowing you to connect on a deeper level. Hey fellas, here is a joke to break the ice. I got lost in your eyes. But, I also get lost in most department stores, so I wouldn't read too much into it. If you execute that properly, you will probably make her day. With that said, please subscribe to the channel, that would make our day. Thanks. So, back to our fact. If you're looking to ramp up the romance, consider the 4-minute eye contact technique. Just remember, it's about connection, not competition. So next time you're on a date, try the 4-minute staring contest. Just don't forget to blink, it's not a competition. Fact number 7. Love can literally make you crazy. Now, before you start questioning your sanity, let's delve a bit deeper. Science has found fascinating links between love and behaviors similar to Obsessive Compulsive Disorder or OCD. When you're in love, your brain releases chemicals like oxytocin and dopamine, leading to feelings of happiness, obsession, and even a bit of madness. Researchers at University College London found that people in the throes of new love have lower levels of serotonin much like those with OCD. This could explain why you can't stop thinking about your new love interest, or why their favorite song is on repeat in your head. Now here is another joke for you. But, this time for the ladies. Say this to him. Charizards are red, Squirtles are blue, if you were a Pokemon, I would choose you. If that doesn't capture his heart, then it will surely make him crack up. Just like how love can make you conjure up all sorts of scenarios in your head. So if you find yourself checking your phone every two minutes for a text from your crush, don't worry. You're not crazy, you're just in love. Or you might be both. Fact number 8. Heartbreak can cause physical pain. Yes, you heard that right. Ever heard of the term broken heart syndrome? It's not just a poetic metaphor, but a real medical condition known as Takotsubo cardiomyopathy. Studies have shown that intense emotional stress, like that from a severe breakup or loss, can lead to symptoms mimicking a heart attack, including chest pain and shortness of breath. This happens because of a surge of stress hormones that temporarily stun the heart, causing changes in its rhythm and performance. It's fascinating, isn't it? Our emotional and physical health are so deeply entwined, the body truly mirrors what the heart feels. So, if you've ever felt a physical ache in your chest after a split, know that it's not just an illusion. So, if you're hurting after a breakup, it's not just in your head. But remember, ice cream is a great painkiller. Because sometimes, a scoop or two of your favorite flavor can sweeten even the sourest of heartaches. Fact number 9. Couples who cuddle more are happier and have deeper connections. Now isn't that a cozy thought? Research from the University of Hertfordshire found this to be true, showing that couples who spent more time in each other's arms reported higher satisfaction in their relationships. Theories suggest that the act of cuddling releases oxytocin, also known as the love hormone. This hormone is responsible for feelings of bonding and trust. So when you cuddle, you're not just getting comfy, you're building a stronger bond with your partner. Now here's another joke. To be happy with a man, you must understand him a lot and love him a little. However, to be happy with a woman, you must love her a lot and not try to understand her at all. Do not make up any excuses with this one, just like how your partner might make up an excuse to get out of cuddle time. But remember, science is on your side. So grab your partner and cuddle up. If they complain, just tell them it's doctor's orders. After all, who can argue with a prescription for more cuddles? Fact number 10. Love is not just a feeling, it's a commitment. Now I know what you're thinking. Oh great, just what I needed, another responsibility, but hear me out. Studies have shown that love is more than just butterflies in the stomach or a rush of endorphins. It's about choosing to be there for someone in good times and bad. It's about sticking around when things get tough, and not just when they're easy. So, you see, love is not just a fleeting emotion, but a conscious decision to commit to another person. It's like signing up for a lifetime subscription to a magazine, except the magazine is a person, and you can't just cancel when you get bored. And now, for our final joke, relationships are a lot like algebra. Have you ever looked at your ex and wondered why? Remember, love is like a garden. 
It needs attention and care, not just water and sunshine, so next time your partner asks you to do the dishes, just remember it's all part of the love garden maintenance. And there you have it. 10 Fascinating Facts About Love, Sex, and Relationships Please subscribe for more on love, sex, and relationships. And remember, love is a beautiful, complex, and sometimes hilarious part of life. So keep laughing, keep learning, and most importantly, keep loving. Until next time.